You have to check this out. Come here. I want to show you something. So this is what $24 million buys you in Telluride, Colorado. Now this episode is, this is my favorite home that we have ever done. I've said that a few times, but this is truly my favorite home. As you can see behind me, we are here in the beautiful Telluride, Colorado, and we're about to tour this modern architectural masterpiece that has been built into the side of this hilltop here in Telluride. Now, a bit about Telluride, because this is my first time here and I've fallen in love with the town. Telluride is an old Victorian mining town that's nestled in the bottom of a box canyon. It's the most picture perfect wild western town that you can imagine from all those old movies back in the day. But now some stats on this home, where we're at right now. This home has six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. It's just under 12,000 square feet of interior living space and it's situated on 35 acres of prime mountainside real estate. And this beautiful home is listed for $24 million. Now stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna sit down with the listing agents who I'd like to give a huge thanks to for letting us tour this incredible property. I believe Josh is actually here and we're gonna sit down with him. And with that, let's get into this tour. I'm so stoked, let's get into this. So welcome to 296 Greyhead Lane. Now before we even get to the home, the approach to this house is something out of a movie. It's a long winding dirt road overlooking the mountain range off in the distance. Upon finally turning this corner and seeing this modern architectural masterpiece behind me. Now this home was designed and developed by Poss Architecture based out of Aspen. And the coolest thing about this home, we'll actually head up to the door. If you look through this oversized front door, it was framed perfectly with Mount Wilson right in the background. Now most of you have seen Mount Wilson, but you've seen it on a Coors Light can. That's the Coors Light Beer Can Mountain, and that's framed right in your front door. So here we have the motor court, and it's been left unpaved, keeping with that rustic, rugged feel of Telluride. We have the two-car garage off to the corner here. Right in front, the landscaping is beautiful, keeping in with the theme of the area. We had those quaking aspens, and then we have an awesome water feature there off into the corner, which actually flows under the home. But let's make our way up to the front entrance and head into this beautiful home. So now normally we'd go through the great room, but when you walk in here, this home is framed around the mountain range, floor to ceiling glass with these Shuko doors. So we're just gonna go right outside and show you so $24 million views here in Telluride. So this here, this home was built with this in mind. This is it right here. The entire home was built around that mountain range. Even the design of the home itself, the different peaks of the different wings of the home is all based off of that right there. You have those lush green forests and then the rolling hills leading up to the peak right in the center. And we'll get some more information about this area when I sit down with Josh, but I mean, this is a panorama. And here, even just look at this, it's all been utilized. This is freestanding panes of glass, but we're gonna head back and actually show you the home because this home is pretty unique. Lots of tech in here, starting in the great room. And now throughout the entire house, we have different shades and grains and types of walnut that you'll see as we tour the space. Then also back into the corner here, we have a stairwell leading us down to the lower level which we'll check out a bit later. But the main feature here, aside from the views in this great room, is this freestanding fireplace with this 
steel chimney going right up with the glass on all three sides. I think this is so beautiful. And then we have the recessed underneath LED lights really casting a shadow on that stone. Stepping down, we now enter the formal dining room space. I really love how we have this ornate light fixture hanging above and this at the back wall. I love this custom millwork. Again, like I mentioned, this credenza is all walnut. It's a built-in piece. Uh, this is used essentially to store your fine china, your silverware. We even have storage on the bottom here. And a theme throughout the entire home are those LED lights recessed underneath. And you can even see here in the stairs, it just really adds for that really elegant feeling. This is a, I'd say this is easily a nine foot by probably eight foot full printout of the backside of the mountain here. And if you actually look closely, you can see people skiing down this just, I mean, you have to be a madman to ski down this, but this is just a bit of Telluride right in the house. But back to the dining room, we have seating for 10. And let's head back to the far wall here. And I wanna point this out. We have the Lutron system in the entire house. Everything's automated and controlled right here. But I wanna step back outside because this is really that kind of Californian indoor outdoor living, just with that Telluride ruggedness. So this whole back terrace runs the entire length of the home here. And like I mentioned, this is really, in my opinion, the best part about this home is the outdoor space. So it even runs off to the corner here. These dramatic steel columns supporting the structure, really adding to that kind of just the feature of the home, the strength of the home. And then off into the corner here, we have the fire pit and the outdoor kitchen. So heading back in from the terrace, we're gonna cut through the dining room and head to the open concept kitchen. And this kitchen is just, let me take a look. Here we have the center island. Again, that recessed lighting at the base of the island. This is a quartz countertop, deep set sink. Then behind me, just look how sleek this is. The symmetry of the cabinetry with the hood in the center. We have the Miele induction cooktop and then all this custom walnut millwork. And this is as modern as it gets for a kitchen. It is all handleless, all the appliances, like I mentioned, Miele top of the line here. And I actually wanna point this out. So on this side of the island, look at all this drawer space built in, all handleless, push to open. Just the ease of that is so beautiful. And then something I really like also is we have this built-in shelf here, which you could easily make into a breakfast bar. Uh, you could honestly make this a little home office. You have the telephone set up here. So while you're having your morning coffee, your breakfast, getting your work done and checking out those views. We also have Sub-Zero wine storage here. Making our way down, we have the custom Miele dishwasher, again with the walnut on the front paneling. Here we have the secondary sink. And then this is the actual breakfast bar here with seating for six. And then we have Sub-Zero refrigerator. All in all, it's just so beautiful. But let's keep on going. Another step down. And I also love, I mentioned, every single stair has that underlit illumination with the LED lighting. Now this is the den, the family room. Front and center, we have the custom walnut millwork into this just amazing piece right here. And this is very unique. This is a floating fireplace. So if you look down by my foot, again, we have that recessed LED lighting underneath. Fireplace, flat screen TV. It's such a beautifully done entertainment center and it just fits with the space so nicely. Then at the far side, again, more custom walnut. And this is what I'm talking about. You saw some of those shots at the start of the video. This is downtown Telluride just right into that box canyon. Beautiful sunset with the ski slopes. Yeah, I think it's very cool how they have all the art of Telluride in the actual house, and then you are actually physically seeing it. Super unique. I do wanna show this, so if we turn around, this is basically a big loop. So we came down that stairwell there, and now we're heading back up. This is the pantry. Decent sized pantry. We have a secondary Sub-Zero refrigerator freezer combo. On the other side of the pantry, this is the laundry room where we're currently housing all of our gear for this production. Four units right here, washer, dryer combos. Making our way back out. Back through the den. And now we are into the second staircase. And just take a moment to look at the, just the design and the aesthetic of this staircase. It's a floating staircase with the stainless steel glass on the railings with those floating walnut slabs. In here now we have all Venetian plaster on the walls, but there's actually a room behind you. So we're gonna spin around. 
believe this is, yeah, this is just one of the guest bedrooms. And you can see just by the frame, it's a very decent size. Every guest suite also has the ensuite bathroom. And all the finishes in here are top of the line. Floating vanity with the quartz countertops. Steam shower with the overhead rainfall faucet. Soaking tub. So even in all the guest room ensuite bathrooms, just they are top of the line everything. And I'm gonna keep this a nice long take because I really want you to get a feel of this home and leave nothing out. Even here, just another beautiful piece of walnut millwork with the full length mirror here. This could be a desk, you get ready here. And this is the back side of the entertainment console. And right off here we have the entryway to the garage. This is a three car garage and I love how it's really built into that hillside like you saw in the intro of the video from that drone shot. But from the garage, we are now gonna take this floating staircase up to check this out. Welcome to your in-law suite. And here we have the full kitchen. Every guest bedroom also has its own outdoor space. So even your in-law suite has a nice little terrace right outside and even the in-law suite has the view. So come on out here. And now we're actually on top of the garage. This is a living rooftop. So the garage is built into the side of this hill. Like I mentioned, this is just about 12,000 square feet of interior living space. That's quite a hefty home. So from this kind of living entry kitchen area in the in-law suite, we have the bathroom off to the right. And now this is technically the bunk room and we have four bunk beds, all with this custom shelving right here with the reading lights. The closet leads into an additional bathroom. Even the bathroom in the bunk room has views like this. Because normally the bunk room or the in-law suite is like a secondary feature, it's like an afterthought, but to have views like this, it's pretty impressive. Leaving the bunk room, I just even want to point this out, I just noticed this, even in the bunk room, we have trimless floating walls. Just the, the amount that that costs is crazy. But we're gonna head downstairs all the way now to the lower level entertainment floor. If you look up, we have recessed lighting built into each one of these planks of walnut. And even I want to point this out how there was the space left open here for the light to come down here and just light up the stairwell. But heading down the staircase, you can really see in this shot all those LED lights underneath. And I want to point this out because I feel like no one ever shows this in a home tour, especially of this caliber. But follow me. We are now about to enter the brains of the home. So I always talk about, all oh, the Lutron system. This is your Lutron system. So we have all six of the Lutron panels. This controls the lighting, the shades, the music, everything. We even have an air conditioning unit in here just to keep it cool. And I also want to point this out. We'll follow me into this room here. So this is all the water. This home is all geothermal. So everything is all snow melt. The floors are all radiant heating. It's all here. This is what all that means. So when people are like, oh, we have radiant heated floors, that's where that all comes from. And I thought it was worth showing that. So this lower level is the guest bedroom wing. We have one guest bedroom right behind me here on the right. Pretty decent size. Again, has beautiful views of the mountain range off in the distance. Also has the ensuite bathroom. Then heading back out, on my other side to the left, we have that mirror image of that first guest bedroom. Again, insane views of the mountain, ensuite bathroom. This one has a red backsplash, which is pretty cool. So now back out into this main hallway, we're gonna continue on with the tour, walking past the subterranean garden from these guest bedrooms. This is your game room. This is your gaming system. We have these two awesome vision racers here, so you can really get that simulation of racing. Venetian plaster on the walls, but then heading up these two lit up stairs, off to the left here, two oversized Sub-Zero wine storage units. Then right off of these wine coolers, we enter your bar and entertainment room. We have a full-on bar with everything I'm talking, melee dishwasher, ice maker, refrigerator, all built in. Seating for four. We've got your ping pong table. We've got the red velvet pool table here. And now this is one of my favorite rooms in the whole house. This is your family room. Tons of seating wraparound couch. Again, another one of these custom millwork walnut entertainment centers, just with all the storage right underneath. And here we have this huge gas fireplace, all built into this custom limestone stonework. I actually like this a lot, how we go from that limestone to then this walnut wood paneling on the walls. 
we're entering your home theater. So if that family room wasn't enough, we have an entirely dedicated room for your home theater. We have the love sacks, reclining chairs, the works. I mean, not that, I feel like you wouldn't really utilize this because of the view and all the things to do here in Telluride, but to have the option, that's luxury. From the home theater, right across, we have this powder room with this awesome metallic paint on the walls here. We have this freestanding vanity with these really unique light fixtures with the lighting recessed into the ceiling. It really just fits the vibe for down here, the movie, the entertainment room. Then off to the corner here, we have the stairwell that takes us back up to the great room. And you can see all that recessed LED lighting into this walnut staircase. To the top of the staircase, you can now see we're back to this epic great room. Just, I wanna stand in this frame so you can see this, because we didn't show this perspective. Just, wow. It's pretty nuts, but we're gonna move forward this way. Now we have this sky bridge, which connects the main house to the owner's wing of this mega mansion. Here we have your home office, executive office. The TV is built right into this Venetian plaster here. Look at that, just inlaid right in there. From your office, bam the views, and you also have the outdoor terrace access. Right behind me here, another awesome staircase. We'll go there in a second, but I really wanna show you this. Welcome to your master bedroom in this $24 million mega mansion. Just check this sun-drenched room out. Like I mentioned, this is really when those windows at the top of the walls come into play. You can really see that light coming through from the west just making this whole room illuminated. All of your floor to ceiling glass opens up. So you can entirely open up your bedroom and really have indoor outdoor living. And the master suite also has its own terrace, which is disconnected from that main terrace over there off the gray room. It's a little windy out here. Hopefully you can still hear me, but just take this in. This, you can't find this in Bel Air. You can't find this in Beverly Hills. You can only find this here in Telluride. We're gonna flow on back in, indoor outdoor living. And off into the corner of the owner's suite. We have, of course, the closet off to the right here. Walk-in closet, all that custom walnut millwork, nice little vanity to get ready. And directly across from your walk-in closet, we're gonna enter the owner's bathroom and just take a moment to look at all this and take it all in. We're gonna start here in the corner. We have the walk-in Mr. Steam shower, dual rainfall shower heads, and also this very unique tiling on the backsplash here, just really almost mimicking the mountains and the views. Then directly across, this is pretty cool. Push to open all of your storage right here for all your toiletries. Then we have the floating walnut vanity, dual freestanding sinks, the mirror with the built-in inlaid LEDs, then off into the corner here, we have the wet style soaking tub with views from your tub. Wherever you are in this house, there's views. And again, I, I keep pointing this out, but this is something that's very special. Just all these windows at the top of the walls to let in that Western sunlight. So no matter what time of day it is, morning or evening, you have natural sunlight. Now leaving the owner's wing, I also wanna point this out. We can close this off to keep your privacy from the bedroom space. I think that's a really nice touch. And now off to the left, we have another one of those beautiful floating staircases, which we saw on the other side of the house, the guest wing side of the house. We're gonna go up. And I love how these stairs taper in and get narrower as you go up, they start out wide. Again, just mimicking the mountain feeling. Everything is done in this house to mimic that mountain range. So at the top of the staircase, we're now entering the junior master suite. Off to the right here, this, I believe, is just as impressive, if not more, than the primary bathroom. Junior master bathroom, this entire wall essentially is your vanity mirror with the inlaid LED lighting, deep set soaking tub, heated towel rack, freestanding steam shower, and again, at the top of this mirror, we have that cutout window for that lighting, just the natural sunlight shooting in here. It's beautiful. Then making our way forward, this is the essentially the bedroom space of the junior master. And this might be my favorite room in the house as far as the bedrooms go because you are the highest up and you have those incredible views. Shuko doors which slide open and you have your Juliet balcony done in Telluride style. 
looking down from this balcony, you see the creek going through your land, the natural pond. We'll get to that in a second. There's still a few more things we need to show you, so we're gonna head inside. So from this junior master, the wellness center of this house is pretty unique, so let's head there now. Now the wellness center resembles a world-class fitness center and spa, floor to ceiling mirrors right in the back so you can watch yourself working out. Treadmill with the view, I don't even need to talk about that view anymore, but could you imagine running on their treadmill looking at that view? Free weights, tons of room here. We also have the built-in wet bar here with the refrigerator underneath. Then heading back further, steam room, of course, your bathroom with all these custom finishes. And even here on the backsplash, we have that combed sandstone. We haven't seen that yet. I like that touch a lot. Heated towel rack, the works, like the rest of this house, the finishes in every single room, there's been zero compromise. And then we have our stainless steel jacuzzi with the gas fireplace right in front, limestone on the wall. So finally stepping out onto the property, you can see behind me just how impressive this structure is from ground level. All that sandstone, the glass, the steel, the walnut trim there, I mean, it all just goes together. And this is pretty unique. Gonna make our way down to our all natural pond. But this is your outdoor promenade, essentially your outdoor kitchen. Seating for a wolf grill here. LED TV, this is one of those places where we are trying our best and hopefully we're succeeding in showing you how just special this place is, but you really have to be here. Take a look at the mountain range off in the distance, just the perspective in this landscape. And this is actually a fire pit down here. But now to get a bit more perspective on this home, the area and what the market's been doing, we're gonna sit down with the listing agent, Josh, and really pick his brain. Thank you so much for letting us tour your incredible listing. Of First course. question, Telluride. Tell us about Telluride and specifically this property because I've never seen a home like this. This home is stunning and it has the most incredible views outside that you'll ever see anywhere. And this house was just set out at this point, they call it Sunset Ridge. It just sticks out at the end where you get 270 degree views and uh, sunrise, sunset, and Telluride. It's really a special spot. It really is. It almost reminds me of like those old Western movies, just how the, the what is the mountain that, when you're on that main street in town with the waterfall in the background? Ajax. Just that frame so perfectly with the buildings on either side, man. It's, yeah. it's really something else. We have this uh, old historic town and literally waterfalls are coming out of the mountain and uh, just, spitting down into town and how many places have 14,000, 13,000 foot peaks around you with waterfalls just coming right into town. The past 14 months for everyone has been crazy. What's the market been doing here in Telluride? During COVID, everybody realized they wanted to be in small towns and they wanted to be in safe places and they wanted to be in places that they could be outside and do activities outside this is the spot. So the two places in Colorado that people move to more than any other place is Aspen and Telluride. It's interesting also, because if you guys saw the vlog, Josh took us out to this parcel of land. It's what, like 600 plus acres? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we took out some toys. So if you haven't checked out that episode, <laughs> it's on my channel now. But yeah, you can't get that anywhere. Just having that open, vast nature. Yeah. Because well, I'm from the city. This exactly. is a treat for you to come out here and play But toys. we have in Telluride, we have uh, the best music, we have speakers who come in, we have festivals here, we have movies here. It's basically big city brought into a small town where you have endless outdoor adventures. Now, a big question a lot of people who are watching these episodes have is who's buying these places? I know you can't say specifically who, but what industries are they in? Where are they from? You know, interestingly, there's a lot of money out there right now. People are selling companies to venture capital companies and people are getting a big check 
and they're coming this way and buying their dream home and changing their lives and having their new dream life. Technically here, we have a lot of people coming from Texas. We have a lot of people from Austin, from Houston, from Dallas. New Yorkers are getting out of the city and they're starting their lives over in the mountains. And then we do get a little bit of San Diego and Southern California coming here as well. I mean, I totally get it, man. The selling point of this home in the mountains. Let's check out that panorama out there. And actually, could you break down the lay of the land? What are we looking at? Which peak is what? I know that's Wilson. What else do we so, have out So here? let's talk about Wilson because Wilson is what the um, Coors Light, it's on the Coors Light yep. can. And it's also Paramount Pictures logo. Is that really? It is. I and knew, so I thought it was from that is else. the iconic peak for here. And it really is stunning. Uh, for in that range, you have four 14,000 foot peaks. You have Sunshine Mountain to the left, and then you go through Ophir, and then you get the entire ski area. And Palmyra Peak in the ski area, these jagged peaks that are up here, you can hike to the top of that and ski down inbounds in our ski area. That's incredible. I also saw some planes landing, and I know you yourself, you're a big airplane guy, is that right? That's right. That's right. So uh, the airport is just over this hill. We have a 7,000 foot runway here. Uh, it is commercial and private, so everybody can come into this airport. And if you're looking for uh, a good sporty time, try one of those flights. If you're looking to potentially purchase this house, all the information is down below in the description of the video. Or if you're looking to come to Telluride and ski and hike, it's all right here. I'll leave more information about the area down below as well. Josh, Thank you for letting us tour this crazy property. And with that, we will see you guys in the next episode.